Hey guys, Frank Curzio here with another live video, and I wanted to break down Netflix a little bit. I got a good look at the numbers yesterday when they reported. Today it's down. Uh, it's a stock of the day, obviously. It's going to be talked on, on, on old media channels, CNBC, Fox Business all day. But uh, one of the things I noticed is the reason why they're blaming the sell-off is for the guidance. Earnings guidance was okay. Sales guidance was okay, but it was just subscription growth, right? It's subscription growth was... Uh, much less than expected, it's like two and a half million. Uh, to put that in perspective, this past quarter, this quarter that they just reported, it was 10 million subscribers a quarter before it was 15 million due to COVID. So those numbers are, are crazy. But they beat by two and a half million. I mean, even if they push it out to this quarter, it would almost make that guidance okay. But it's not so much subscriber growth. It is important, but I, I'm a believer that Netflix has the best platform. They do have pricing power. If they wanted to raise their prices a little bit, people aren't going to leave. The bigger concern for Netflix is something that, that I haven't seen many people talking about. I didn't really factor in is Netflix is based on original content. That's why they're the best in the world. It's why I've always said that Disney can't really compete because they said we're going to spend a ah, billion, billion and a half. Disney has great content now. They have a lot of people coming from Verizon as free subscribers. So it's easy to build up your platform to 50, 60, 70 million because that's your base, right? In order to grow that, it's how do I get people to that platform outside of the Disney base? And the way you do that is by having original content. Disney said they're going to spend a billion, billion and a half. To put that in perspective, Netflix said they're going to spend 17 billion, as they said in January, new content. Now, here's the thing. The biggest concern is that content because everything is closed. All the production studios are closed. They're not filming anything. So if you're looking for the next installment on Netflix, I'm a diehard Netflix fan. I love a lot of shows on there, but a lot of those shows, those next seasons are going to be pushed back. So you have to take a look at the coronavirus where... People are going to look at it and say if the coronavirus goes even longer, that should be good for Netflix because more people are going to stay home. However, it's going to be a negative going forward at this price. And what price are we talking about? And this is a live video. I'm doing it right now, 1054. It's down 6%. I mean, this is a monthly chart. Look where it was a month ago. You, know, you look at 430. It went up all the way to 550. And now it's 492. So it's still up considerably. And even when you look at the yearly chart of how much this thing has gone up, it's incredible. I mean, it's 300 here. And it went up to 550, now it's 492. So the expectations are baked in for everything to be perfect. But be careful because the catalyst for this company over the past few months is, hey, if the coronavirus lasts even longer and we're starting to shut down economies again, California, not yet Florida, rumors on Texas. You guys know the stories if you read a media channel, whatever, I'll go through it. But uh, there's this perception that that's going to be great for Netflix, not necessarily because the longer we get pushed out, now it's about original content. Again, so much to die hard, I'm not seeing... A lot of stuff now or a lot of new stuff being released on Netflix, especially from those seasons that I thought would be coming out over the next month or two. It could be pushed out to six months, nine months. Again, this isn't going to go away until we get a vaccine. It's going to be longer than nine months. But that's something that's the biggest concern with Netflix is the original content. And they actually said we're not spending that much money because they're not in production right now. So if they're not producing new content, that could push people off of this site and result in you know, more people saying, hey, I'm done with Netflix. And that's the bigger concern with the company trading at an extremely high valuation, which is well-deserved, but it's deserved if everything is perfect. It's not going to be perfect and be careful of that callous. Like, it's not going to be a callous if coronavirus goes longer. It's the original content. That's why Disney's really bad. I don't like Disney. They got into this business. They paid a fortune. Uh, in order to make money in streaming, in order to do good, you have to have Netflix model and spend a fortune on content. Apple's there now doing the same thing. Uh, so... You're looking at Netflix right now. Be very, very careful. I think there's more downside coming up. Keep an eye on coronavirus. If we're not going to open up for six months, nine months, not a lot of new content coming out. That's probably going to be a negative. So be very, very careful. That's some next result. Netflix coming down 15, 20% from this level. And even if it did and I'm right, it would still be up for the year, basically. So that's how high this stock has gone, even if it pulls back 10, 15% or 20%. So be careful with Netflix here. Like to see the market open up. It's going to be a plus for them for that original content. And as always... I'll report back to you guys soon. Take care.